In this week's Parsha, we learn about Korach and his followers and how they undermined Moshe's authority. There's a mission in Pirkei Avot that talks about Korach, and it compares Korach and his followers to Hillel and Shammai. The Mishnah in Perak Hamishi reads, Any machloket, that's for God's honor, for God's glory, that will live on, that will endure, that's okay. But a machloket, that's not l'shem shamayim. A machloket, a division, a fight, that's for the honor of the people and has nothing to do with searching for God's glory. That's not going to endure. That is not going to live on. That's not going to end well. What's an example of a machloket that's for God's honor? Then that's machloket hillel v'shamay. That would be hillel and shamay arguing, tanaim, that are arguing about halacha, that are trying to figure out how to best serve God, that are trying to understand and develop a system of halacha to help us do our mitzvot. And what's an example of she'en al Hashem shamayim? Zo machloket korach v'chol adato. When you think about a machloket that's not Lashem Shemayim, you think about Korach and his Eida. Now that's not really parallel. Hillel v'shamay, Korach v'adato, that doesn't match up, right? Hillel fought Shamay, Korach didn't fight his people, Korach fought Moshe. But what the Mishnah is trying to tell us, it seems, is that Korach v'adato, they fought. The fighting was between them. You know Why? Because they were the ones that were each looking for honor. They were the ones that were actually fighting among themselves as they were taking on Moshe. And that's how dysfunctional they were. Now, when it comes to Hillel and Shammai fighting for Torah, they're going to figure it out. Someone's going to rule. Someone's going to paskin. Someone's going to win. And it's going to be okay. There's achdut and we're all in it together. And at the end of the day, it's all for Hashem anyway. But when it comes to Korach and his Eita and that kind of infighting, that Hashem won't tolerate. And at the end of the Korach story, the Torah even says for us that Hashem said, There may not be another situation like this again. We cannot have Korach and his followers, anything like that ever again, questioning Moshe and taking on a leader that I, I have put in that position, says God. And I think about fighting and I think about division sometimes living here in Israel, so many Jews arguing about what to do, people fighting in the Knesset, different parties. And I wonder to myself sometimes, is this L'shem Shamayim? And I hope, I hope we can really live up to that kind of machloket that will be able to endure, that will end well, because we're not in it for our own glory. We're in it for God. We're in it to be an Orla Goyim. We want to figure out how to best be the light onto the nations that we need to be. Um, and if we can keep that kind of, of division, if we can keep that kind of argument going, then uh, we'll be able to see the light that comes out of that. So when, may we be zocha to build that kind of community that sometimes has arguments, sometimes has fights, but it's all in our common search for truth. And our goal at the end of the day is to bring Kiddush Hashem.